Hello and welcome to the Test Trip Card NRI's channel, specifically uh, made for and curated for the parents and students who wish to get more and more information on NET preparation or medical preparation here in India, who are looking for medical admission here in India. Uh, today's video is specifically being created uh, with an intention of uh, providing information on NRI quota or popularly also known as All India Quota for all the NRIs abroad and belonging to Tamil Nadu specifically. So if in case you are an NRI student or parent looking for any ET admission here in India and you also belong to Tamil Nadu, this video is specifically for you. Herein, what we have tried to do is, uh, we have compiled the government medical colleges and the possible private medical colleges here in Tamil Nadu. Uh, you have, you can see the document behind me. Okay, it's a long document, so I think the video should be maybe around 15 to 20 minutes long. Though I'll try to sum it up in a short span, but I think. It will take time, okay. But as long as you need information, you have to spare your time, okay. So it says that the medical college is NRI quota. Seats and fees, these are the two major important aspects uh, while we are researching about uh, this information. We, as a parent or as a student, are always curious to know what's going to be the fee if, in case I'm an NRI student, what's going to be the quota or this number, uh, the seats. Uh, in a particular college, how many seats are there to whom I'm applicable to? Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about this. So let's start this video in detail now. Now, in this video, uh, we are going to talk about first of all, I have created a summary. Okay, we'll go step by step. First of all, we'll try to understand the complete medical landscape there in Tamil Nadu so that we can at least have a base to talk on. Okay, so this sheet represents what? It says top medical colleges in Tamil Nadu as per the NIRF rank. What, is, what are basically these NIRF rank? NIRF stands for National Institutional Ranking Framework, okay, which decides the rank for all the institutions here in India. As per the NIRF rank, I have approximately eight colleges here specifically from tamil nadu ranking from one two three four five six seven eight the first rank in tamil nadu for medical colleges goes to the christian medical college the uh, type of this college is basically it's a private medical college number of seats that we have in christian medical college is approximately 100 and then we have tried to include an annual fee over here now don't take the fee uh, on, on the face value on it okay i'll explain it to you later on why let's uh, complete the ranking first of all so first is the christian medical college second goes amrita vishwa vidya third is madras medical college savita institute of medical college srn sri ramchandra psg and chetinand academy of research and education now most importantly over here, you have to see, and what uh, what also surprised me while doing this research is, out of oh, eight top medical colleges in Tamil Nadu, you have only one government medical college coming up on rank number three. Otherwise, be it rank number one, two, or from four to eight, all have been taken by the private medical colleges in Tamil Nadu. So that's an interesting fact, which is not a usual case in most of the states. If I, uh, if, if I don't just talk about Tamil Nadu, it's not a regular case at all. So, uh, we'll go deep down to, uh, as we have discussed the uh, type of for these colleges, in uh, they are in top 8. Then we have NRI quota and seats. Now, before you go on and read these numbers, most importantly, okay, uh, out of the context, let me give you one information. If you are uh, uh, finding it difficult to read this, text document over here. I have also given a link for this complete document in the description. You can always go back there, click on it and see the PDF altogether. And then you can relate to what I'm trying to express here. So the document is already available. Now, coming back, back to the uh, NRI quota seats. So NRI quota seats, you most, most of the time you are trying to search what is a NRI quota. 
uh, which actually is the wrong terminology. There is no NRI quota as such. The correct phrase is all India quota, which is also called as or known as AIQ. Okay. So if you have, uh, if you do not have much information about NRI quota or AIQ, let me just give you a brief or a, or a, or a short description of that. And then uh, here in the I button, you will be able to see the detailed video, which I did on what is all India quota and what it means to you. Okay. You can go and check that video as well. Now, in a nutshell, if you wish to take admission here in India, be it Tamil Nadu, be it, you be it from any part of the country, AIQ simply means for NRI students is that all government colleges and AIQ is most importantly valid only for the government medical colleges here in India. It is not applicable at all for private medical colleges. So this is point number one. Point number two, in all India quota, what is happening is all the states here in India, they are contributing 15% of their overall seats. Example, if I have a Madras Medical College, Chennai government, okay, it is having NRI quota seats, approximately 37 seats are there. Okay, so what is happening here is out of 100% of the government medical college's seat in each state, they are contributing 15% towards the central pool. Okay, this central pool is called as all India quota seats to whom you are applicable of taking admission to. Okay, this is point number two. If you found it difficult to understand, let me just also take an example. Let's say uh, Haryana, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, number of states, they are having so, so and so, so and so seats in each government medical college. They, uh, what AIQ will do is, AIQ will see how many number of government colleges are there in Karnataka. What are the total number of seats of these government colleges in Karnataka? Out of this total number of seats in government medical colleges in Karnataka, they will simply take away the 15% seats in AIQ and this AIQ will be offered to the NRI students worldwide who wish to take admission here in India. So it is of not your concern to then decide that you belong from Tamil Nadu or you belong to Kerala or Karnataka, it doesn't matter to you for you much because ultimately you will be getting admission under AIQ, of course, you can always give preference that I would like to go to my home state. Then you have to uh, refer to this document which I have created. And this document is just for Tamil Nadu. But just like and subscribe the channel. We will soon be coming up with each and every state in detail so that you are not uh, left alone. Okay. Now. Let's talk about this document. So, uh, in a nutshell, if we talk about Tamil Nadu, you have eight prime eight colleges ranking, out of which seven colleges belong to the private category, out of which one belongs to the government college. One belongs to one is a government college, which is Madras Medical College, thirty-seven here. Over here, you have a fee of roughly in government medical college, you have a roughly fee of six lakh eighty thousand rupees. Okay. Now, when you will compare this with other colleges, now you here you can probably you will be able to see for Christian Medical College Velour, the lowest fee possible is thirteen thousand five hundred, and this is per annum thirteen thousand five hundred rupees per annum. Can also go up to fifty five lakh rupees per annum, and this can also go up to altogether fee of one point six crore rupees. Now, all these three fees are for three different categories. One is for the uh, uh, student who belong to because in Christian Medical College, what, what is happening is that they have 50% seats out of the given 100 total seats, 50% of the seats are reserved for the government candidates, 50% of the seat is reserved for the management candidate. Okay, so those who manage to get a 50% seat in government uh, quota they will be getting a fees of 13,500. Those who will be going for a management quota in Christian Medical College, they will be paying a fee of 55 or 1.6. So I'm not going into a detail right now. 
if in case you have um, and i'm sure you must be having so many doubts related to this which i might not be able to cater so please do comment uh, down in the description below or we have also left our contact details uh, uh, in the description bit below just fill out the form and reach out to us so that we can send you your customized plan okay be it for counseling be it for any coaching whichever it is we take care of the entire thing okay so now So this is the, I have explained you the Christian Medical College, the fee can go up to this, Amrita Vishwa Vishwa Peetam, the fee, annual fee for this college can go as high as 37 lakh rupees per annum if you are planning for Amrita Vishwa Vidya Peetam and they are having a seats of roughly around 22 to 22. In private medical college, please remember wherever you see this private, always understand that you do not have any All India quota here. They simply will be offering you seat on a merit basis or when in case you are an NRI student, you will have to take admission in the management quota based on your, of course, NET score. And the fee can go as high as 37 lakh rupees per annum. Then we have Savita Institute of Medical and Technical Sciences. They have an annual fee of 25 lakh rupees. You might not be able to follow me to the end of the video. Might be possible. But let me just tell you the crux here of this video. If you are planning to go for a private medical college in Tamil Nadu, least amount of fee that you will be paying on an annual basis will not be less than 25 lakh rupees per annum will not be less than. I am saying less than 25 lakh rupees. It will be, it can be higher and in few cases it is already. For example, you can see uh, Chetinand Academy of Research and Education, it's a private, it is having $75,000, $75,000 per annum, not for five years, but this is per annum, roughly 1.6, uh, roughly around 60 lakh rupees uh, per annum, it goes as high as this. And for all of this, I have, you can see there is an L written over here. It means I have a reference link attached to it. So I have a reference link attached to each of these things where you will be able to see that why is this 75,000? What is the breakup? Let me show you an example so that you also can follow me. Let me just open up. For example, let me just open up. Let's say PSD Institute of Medical Science. I have a couple of these uh, PDFs with me, which I, while I was preparing this document, I was going through these things. So this is PSG and uh, this is the brochure, uh, I think, yeah, MBBS seat information. Last tier, I hope you can see the category is general, SC, general, OBC. The seat categories are mentioned here that it's a management seat, it's a government seat, it's a NRI general seat. So, in case of NRI general, last year they have given it for 24 lakh. They have given it for 24 lakh and 50,000 over here. In case of, let me see, yeah. Right. In case of a management, the first row is for management. In case of a management seat, the fee charged is approximately 13 lakh 50 thousand. So if there is an Indian student belonging to the management quota, they will be charging them 13 lakh 50 thousand. In case of an NRI students, they will be charging you approximately 24 lakh 50 thousand. So this is one example and I have the PDF available for all of these uh, medical colleges which we were uh, discussing okay so you don't have to go further and look for these pdfs all together i have compiled it all of them over here and they have so in uh, so that's the reason i have this can you see this 250 and i have written t t means i have just mentioned the total number of seats available in each medical college okay and in government medical college, I have mentioned the number exactly how many seats are available with, to which you can refer to and you can take admission into. Okay, so let me just. 
okay so i hope uh, to set the videos tone i have tried to explain you number of uh, the top 8 colleges in tamil nadu which category they belong to approximate number of fee and the tentative seats they have been into um, uh, being a nri quota fee uh, nri quota seat or maybe a, a general uh, seats all together okay now let's just move further and try to see what do we have next so now as you can see that uh, we have a small differentiation this section is basically a few parameters are over here on, on which we will basically be comparing the government medical colleges with the private medical colleges so that you have a, a, a normal understanding that okay what you are going to deal with so it's basically a summary and these are the few points these are for government medical colleges 10 points are approximately here and then on the same parameters on these 10 colleges we will be discussing the private medical colleges also let's talk about them one by one government medical colleges okay total number of government medical colleges in tamil nadu as of today you have approximately 38 uh, government medical colleges in tamil nadu then comes the number of seat in government medical colleges in tamil nadu you have approximately 5225 seats on which and on these seats obviously on these seats you can have an aiq available so out of these uh, 5225 seats 15% are now reserved for you being the nri student or a parent okay so on 15% of this you are eligible on the number of private seats which i'm going to show you later you are not eligible for or all india quota is not applicable on that now coming to let's see maximum annual fee in government medical college in tamil nadu it can go maximum there's only one college which is uh, charging this much but to be on a higher side it can go up to 1,26,000 per annum and the minimum fee in government medical college it can go as low as 26,000 rupee for a complete MBBS course in government medical college and this basically is about uh, AIMS I am talking about it has an annual fee of roughly around 5 to 6,000 rupee per annum then all india quota is that applicable yes it is applicable management quota applicable in government medical colleges no there cannot be a management quota in government medical colleges minimum NEAT score requirement for this it's a long topic that's why i left it but obviously we can always talk about that in the description you can let us know the particular college and we will share you the link on the website to which you can refer to and you can see the entire cutoff list available for all the medical colleges now nri admission counseling in tamil nadu is conducted by mcc medical counseling committee and for indian student in tamil nadu the counseling is conducted by the directorate of medical education tamil nadu in tamil nadu now on the same parameter we are going to differentiate on these things for private medical colleges total number of private medical colleges in tamil nadu how many are there there are approximately 32 whereas in government we were having approximately 38 so 38 government 32 private medical colleges number of seats in private medical colleges you have approximately 5500 medical uh, seats available in Tamil Nadu in private medical colleges of course as I told you no all India quota available only management seats are available and uh, their general seats are available to which you can apply of, of, obviously when you will apply to these seats in private medical colleges they will be charging you a little not a little but they will be charging you higher okay you being the nri student and another category student they have to pay a little higher compared to what an indian student generally pays right so maximum fee in a uh, private medical college can go as high as 60 lakh rupees per annum per annum okay and the lowest fee possible is 20 lakh rupees per annum in a private medical college 
AIQ is if it's applicable no it's not applicable uh, NRI management quota management quota is applicable and you will be able to get it minimum need score requirement cutoff so don't go to this one but yeah more or less it is somewhere around this and NRI's admission counseling even for private medical colleges it's being conducted by DME directorate of medical education here NCC is not going to play any role if in case if it's going to be a medical college option for you to finally decide on so see basically and now we have the third section coming up soon in uh, later in this PDF what I have to tell you based on my personal experience so far for an information point of view it is always good to know as much as possible but from an execution point of view it doesn't matter much doesn't matter if anybody is willing to pay 24 lakh rupees you or you might be you might also be able to pay 30 lakh rupees or 35 lakh rupees it doesn't going to make a difference if any private uh, if any government medical college is, ha is having 30 seats approximately per annum doesn't matter even if it, even if it goes to 40 students per annum why i'm saying so what is the threshold point that we have to talk about we have to talk about preparing for the neat examination in a well coordinated manner wherein you can at least score a cutoff point in under which you can get a admission in NEET. okay that is the threshold point your focus should not be more on getting onto the videos to know fees quota and seat and all of these things this is a one-time information and i'm giving you over here in case of tamil nadu i've already told you you have approximately uh, how many seats for government you have approximately five thousand, roughly if i'm not wrong give me a second where is that five thousand two hundred and twenty five seats you roughly have this much seats available just try to score as much as possible then it does not matter to you if, if you are looking for a uh, medical college in Tamil Nadu or Karnataka or Kerala or Andhra Pradesh. It does not matter much because ultimately you will be getting a seat in AIQ. For example, if your score is low, given in, given a condition, if, uh, if your score is low and if you are getting admission, uh, your home state is Kerala, but you are getting uh, admission, let's say in Maharashtra. Will you say no? If you are getting a good college in Maharashtra, you will, you will not say no to it. If your score is low and if you are getting any college, let's say in um, uh, in eastern side, okay, in or maybe in a northern uh, part of India, let's say for that matter, Gujarat, you are getting a seat over there. Will you say no to it? You will have a tough time saying no to it, okay, just on the basis of your uh, state, okay. So, it is not important not worthy of uh, spending time to know the date uh, uh, the, the date of the examination the seat of the examination the state of the examination the seats of the examination these information uh, they are good to have no you, it, it is good to have them but ultimately what you all uh, 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 all in all have to do is you have to spend time more and more on your preparation and improving your competitive index if that is not improved then in all probability this information is also not going to likely help you at all okay to improve that most of the nri students they always they they, they prepare with us for uh, any et coaching if in case you also wanted to know your aptitude your competitive index for the any et preparation or any et examination point there is a link of course in the description click on it connect with us and we'll get your demo schedule uh, demo session uh, conducted for you this will help you in n number of ways okay so that is also an option to go ahead with moving forward what we will have here is now we have a list of all government medical colleges here in tamil nadu okay right over here and we have the areas mentioned type is obviously this one is going to be the government medical colleges and total number of seats that you are likely to have and out of these total number of seats how many seats you are applicable to how many seats you are eligible to then how much fee you actually have to pay 
in terms of government medical college in Tamil Nadu. Okay, so I'll not read the entire list. This list is already available. I'll just take few references so that you can understand. Ames Madurai. Okay, it's obviously government medical college. In this case, they have total 50 seats for an entire year. Out of this, they have approximately seven seats for AIQ students. The, uh, all together, the, where, wherever you see F, F means full fees and A means an annual fee. So uh, for a complete MBBS program, you'll be paying approximately 26,000 rupees. Okay, so this sheet is formatted like this. Then you've got Chilangapattu Medical College. Here you have to pay 15,000 rupees on an annual basis. Even if we scroll down the entire sheet over here, you will not be able to see a fee which is higher than this. The standard fees across all the government medical college in Tamil Nadu, even for AIQ, you have to pay only this much, 13,500, 15,000, 16,000, not more than that, except one, this, uh, this exception, which is ESI, uh, PGI, MECR. Here for NRI quota, you have to pay 1,26,800 rupees annually, even for a government uh, seat. And you have this much, 19 seats available. Uh, 19 seats available for All India quota. In Ames, you have 7. In Chelangapattu, you have 15 All India quota seats. In Coimbatore Medical College, you have 30 seats. In ESI, you have 19. In Government Dharampuri Medical College, you have 15. And these are the total seats available. Then Karur Government Medical College, you have 22 seats. Omanadur Government Medical College, you have 15. And likewise, in 22, we have in uh, Podukote Government Medical College. Okay. So, all together, in terms of seats, it goes from 15 to 20 to 25 seats per college. An average annual fee in government medical college in Tamil Nadu, it can go anywhere less than let's say 10, 12,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees annually. This is what you have to pay if you qualify for all India quota seats. That's why I mentioned initially, there is no point paying up to 60 lakh rupees annually in a private medical college here in India. So you can prepare well and can have an access or uh, you can pay approximately 13,000 or if you don't prepare well, you should be ready to spend approximately 24 to 30 lakh rupees annually in average um, uh, medical, uh, private medical college. I'm talking about the average fee in any uh, good private medical college here in Tamil Nadu. It can go as low as 13,600 in government medical college. Okay. So let's go further and of course, Give me this liberty not to explain you the entire thing. Okay. Um, we also have the seat matrix. The seat matrix is also available. You might not be able to see the numbers over here because the image, I think, itself is a little blurry over here and you might not be able to see it clearly. But the entire seat matrix for Tamil Nadu for NEET is also available. And we have given the direct link to download this in the description. You can go ahead and check it out because there is nothing much for me to explain it to you. You can uh, just uh, check it and you'll be able to understand. If you do not understand anything, there's always a description, comment section down below. So now we are going to talk about the top medical colleges in Tamil Nadu. There are approximately 5,500 private medical uh, colleges seats as we have discussed earlier. Now Christian Medical College, Vellore. Now, yeah, before we move further, in private medical colleges, understand one significant important point. You might be able to see self-finance over here and private over here. So these are two different categories. When we are talking about the self-financing uh, private medical colleges, in Tamil Nadu, they have went into an agreement and they have decided on that the fee for most of the self-financing medical colleges, they are, it's going to be same. Okay, they all are going to charge almost the same, which is what except CMC, PSG and uh, there are approximately I, th I think 10, 15 self-financing medical colleges, which they are charging approximately 24 lakh 50 thousand. This is the standard fee which they will charge annually. Okay, 
So if the college is self-financing, the fee that they're going to charge annually is 24 lakh 50,000. The colleges which are not self-financing, they have their separate fee altogether available. Okay, that, that you have to check and this is already available in the description. Uh, you can download this sheet and can refer to it. I have also placed the link. If you can see this F is written over here. Okay, I have to go back. Okay, so this F is written here. This means this is a full fees. Wherever A is written, it means it's an annual fee. And if you can see the hyperlink, then you click on it and you'll get a reference to it. How it's coming up to be two lakh sixty thousand dollars. How it's coming to be. So we have to understand between self finance and we have to understand the difference between the private. Okay, so self finance they are already having twenty four lakh fifty thousand rupee annually. And um, uh, for the private, we have to check. And for private, it varies from college to college. Now you get to see the total number of seats are over here. For NRI quota seats, I have written check details because we have to check the details specifically. And in the beginning, only I told, uh, tell, uh, told you that there are no NRI quota seats available in any of the private medical colleges. The only thing available with them is the management quota seat which they will give it to you. Of course, if your need score is good, of course, your need score is better. They might be able to provide you some scholarship, but most of the seats given to the NRIs are basically a little hiked up, a little uh, on a higher side you have to pay. So that you have to check. You have to just see the total number of seats because then you are eligible to the total number of seats. I'm not saying that 100, uh, let's say if uh, 150 seats are available in PhD Institute of uh, Medical Sciences, 150 in totality will be given to the NRI students. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that out of 150, they will be have they will ha they will have a, a several some some percentage of it which will be going for the management quota seats. And to those seats, you are also eligible to take admission to. So you can see it as an approximation of your seat. Now, let's take random colleges and their fees. Sri Ramchandra Medical College and Research Institute, they have roughly $2,60,000, which is uh, uh, for a full year uh, course. Okay. Most of the cases wherein you see private also, they are charging approximately 25 to 30 lakh rupees on an annual basis. SRM Medical College, a very popular one amongst the private medical colleges, they are charging approximately 2 lakh uh, dollars, somewhere around I think uh, 1.6 or 1.7 crore rupees for a full MBBS course. Savita Medical College and Hospital, they are charging approximately 50,000 dollars annually. So these, this, this, this basically is the list I think which you can easily refer to. There is no, uh, not much for me to share. Obviously, you can come back to me in the description and I'll be able to share everything. So when you will download this video, also try going to these references which I have mentioned over here. In case of reference link, this document will be very helpful to you because then you don't have to time uh, spend time here and then in terms in in terms of searching information you'll be able to get it directly click on reference one reference to reference three, you'll be able to get a Tamil Nadu MBBS seat matrix quickly and in the same way I've given referencing on the on, on various sites okay okay so this is uh, the number of students who have got admission in Tamil Nadu based on the NRI quota I've given that Anyway, okay, let's come back to the, let's come back to concluding this video. So this video was all about uh, NRI students who are planning to take admission in medical colleges here in Tamil Nadu. We have discussed uh, all government medical colleges and private medical colleges. I've told you the maximum number of fee which is applicable in government medical college. It, uh, it can be 1,26,000 per annum and as low as 6,000 rupees per annum it can be as low as this in uh, private medical colleges you have a uh, fee starting as low as 20 lakh rupees per annum and can go as high as up to 70 to 65 to 70 lakh rupees per annum the good thing for most of the uh, students who are planning to get into private medical colleges is that 
out of uh, eight to nine top medical colleges in Tamil Nadu, seven, six to seven are approximately uh, private medical colleges. And only one college is ranking, um, I think, uh, this one. Madras Medical College is the one which is ranking on third in the NIRF ranking altogether. So I'm not saying that in any way that the government medical colleges are not good. They, of course, they are good. But in terms of the top 10 ranking, they're not coming up. So this is it all in all from my side. Of course, I'm, I, I'm sure that I must have left a couple of uh, uh, questions and a couple of points to which I couldn't address you much. Please leave your all comments down in the description below and I'll try to answer them personally myself. This is it. Thank you very much.